Coffee with Mick. Frank and I had a discussion about whatever I want to talk about in the morning. <sighs> How complicated that TV is going to be. Okay. See that? Those are the two remotes. Two of the three remotes. I need to turn on my TV. Yeah. That smaller one is for like the HDMI switcher, cause I got a TV that has only two HDMI ports. Subject to ports and everything, on my computer, I know I'm gonna have to buy another like USB extender or something because I forget the word for it. It basically gives more power to the USB ports because anytime I stream anything, like it just, it, it conks out. My mouse, my keyboard, it does not work. Like the USB ports have like, it takes too much energy and then the USB ports have to shut themselves off. I'm in the market for a new computer anyway. Mine's like from 2014. It's like 10 years old. It's got some good hardware in it, but I might switch that out to a new one. Who knows? Yeah, subject to hardware, getting my bike fixed up, you know, soon. Yeah. Brake cables are all sorts of messed up. You know, it's, it's I've, I've been riding on it hard for six months. Probably should have done this a few weeks before. My back brake snapped in twain. My front brake still works, so, you know, it's not completely unsafe, but it's generally unsafe. Yeah. That and the bolt of my front wheel is super loose, so that's fun. So much money. And it's only tax deductible next year. Ain't that fun? Mm. Oh boy, taxes and everything. Gonna have to pay for all of that shit. Christ. Just, just a lump. I'm gonna be giving Castlevania a go again. I love that game. I've been watching a lot of the car I've been watching like the Netflix cartoons a lot. Man, Castlevania Nocturne. That was so good, that finale, goddamn. <sighs> and anyone complaining about modern Annette can just fuck off. Just fuck off. She was literally just Princess Peach. In Rondo of Blood, a.k.a. Dracula X. Eh. Eh. Yeah. She was either a damsel in distress, or in the dark timeline becomes a vampire and becomes obsessed with Richter, so... You know, becoming like a straight-up badass earth mage with ties to elemental gods is a bit of an upgrade. It's an upgrade. On the subject, I guess... Theology works like Marvel and DC Comics rules with all sorts of different pantheons, so that's fun. That's fun. Of course, I've only ever actually seen Old Groon in the show, and we've only heard Word of God, so... I don't know. Who knows? Uh, the theology in a lot of these shows can be crazy. <sighs> but hey... Big Daddy Alucard is back. He's gonna be there to teach his adoptive great 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 grandsons and skills and whatnot. I say adoptive, but does that technically count as adopted? I mean, he was probably married to both Trevor, Sypha, and Greta, so I don't know. Don't, do not tell me that that wasn't a polygule. That was a polygule. It was happening. Yeah, at least with Trevor, Alucard, and Sypha, like, with, uh, 
there's two that he killed. I forget their names. Yeah, like he was projecting. That our boy was projecting there with that three way. It's like uh, he was thinking that they were Trevor and Cypher the entire time. Do not tell me otherwise. Oh boy, this is a random one. Started out about like bikes and other stuff, and then we got to Castlevania. Oh, I'm barely awake. Get a shirt on. Uh, I think I'll do some raking today. Good amount of raking. It's warm enough. Eh. Yeah, and that's that cup of coffee. Anyone read the latest Dumbing of Age? I can't believe that they are girlfriends. 